Hey everyone, it's Stellara and welcome back to Cassette Beast. We just walked out into hey. the middle of Harbor Town and look who's here. It's Triangle Head. What the heck? In the middle of broad daylight? Hello, Talara. Sorry. Sorry, is this too loud? How does this guy know my name and where I live? Does anyone else see this? Maybe this is a little easier for you. I thought we could pencil in a quick meeting. Hey. Huh, this is a bit worrying. Who are you? Ah, where are my manners? I should introduce myself. Are you an archangel? Archangel? Is that what you call us? How delightful. As for me personally, I've been called many things by your kind. Arthur, Alexander, Agamemnon. Alas. Alas. I am Aleph. Aleph, alright. You can call me Al. Huh? Nice to meet you? I've been preoccupied for some time by an old friend. Fortunately, that situation has now been resolved. And now I return to find out this world has gathered more of my people? More archangels? These are exciting times indeed, friends. The newcomers are wild and unfocused, but I see much potential in them. So I must ask that you don't attempt to intervene in my team-building exercise. In fact, I must request that you cease searching for my peers entirely. But, but I need to find them in order to leave this island. Oh. You just want to leave? Yes, I can send you away from here. The only thing I can't warp is me. A mirror doesn't reflect itself. Uh, Talara? So be it. I shall grant your wish. Please don't come back. Really. I mean it. Uh, uh, um. What? What the heck? Where, where is he taking me? This is exactly what it looked like when I came to New World the first time. Going through a kaleidoscope of colors. What the heck? Where are we now? This doesn't look like New World, but it also doesn't look like Earth. Unless Earth was hit by a horrible disaster. Wow, I gotta be honest, guys. When I hit record for today's episode, I did not expect us to meet Triangle Head and be transfor transported into, well, whatever universe this is. Whoa, holy giant sword. It's giving World of Warcraft. <laughs> Literally, what is this place? The road just goes on forever. Hi. That looks a lot like someone we know, but it's just graffiti. Is this a church? Uh... Hey, sugar. You're looking pretty lost there, stranger. You need a place to stay? She seems nice. I guess we'll follow her. Oh! Into her rocket ship space church. What the heck? You're lucky I found you when I did, sweetheart. Call me Miss Amber. I'm the face of the Amber Lodge. You're mighty lucky. The Amber Lodge doesn't pass through those dead worlds often. Please, make yourself at home. Have yourself a look around. We're traveling right now, so there ain't nowhere to go just yet. What in the world is happening? We're on a floating spaceship cabaret bar through the multiverse? Please, please give me some explanation, Miss Amber. My mind is scrambled right now. Hi, sugar. Who are you? Like I said, I'm Miss Amber, the face of this fine establishment. Don't worry, you ain't in danger. You ain't the first soul to wander in here with that look on your face. What is this place? Well... The Amber Lodge, sweetheart. We tend to not stick around one place for too long. Sometimes folks like yourself need a helping hand, so we'll hold out an olive branch. We've had some varied clientele over the years, no doubt about that. What is going on? Relax. Oh, you're adorable with that lost puppy dog look in your eyes. Don't fret, none of this is a big deal. You got your little self stuck on a world that's been dead for a thousand years. Why, I simply picked you up. Okay. okay. I mean, that honestly didn't answer a lot of my questions. So, when Triangle Head said that he could get us out of New World, what uh, he didn't elaborate on is the fact that by getting us out of New World, he put us on a planet or in a universe that had been dead for a thousand years? I don't think old Al's a friend after all. The Amber Lodge really is one of a kind. How did you guys end up here? 
Why, I'd stay here forever if I could. I mean, good to know everyone's happy, I guess. Is this your first time at the Amber Lodge? It sure is, and I wish people would give me more details. Miss Amber sure knows how to run this joint. Whoa, wait a minute. Do you know Aleph? Well... He and I were like family once, back in the good old days. There was a whole gang of us, and we had some mighty fine times together, let me tell you. Aleph was like the leader. I mean, of course he was. That's his whole shtick, ain't it? But me, I was the ride. And Morgante was the keeper of the door. Wait! Morgant, the archangel who's giving us the clues. Her and Miss Amber and Aleph were, were a group at some point? Sometimes folks just grow apart. Sometimes it gets messy at the end. So I left all that behind. I'm sure Aleph's still trying to find his ticket off that island, even now. No way the old witch will tell him how, of course. Huh. <laughs> Amber says, I don't want to bore you with this old girl's tales of days gone by. Are you an archangel? Mm -hmm. Me? Why, I told you, Talara. I'm just the face of this establishment. What in the absolute... What? The Amber Lodge is the real attraction. A multiversal cabaret club? This is freaky! Oh my goodness. Not to mention, you'd know all about walking around wearing an avatar, wouldn't you? Don't worry, I won't tell. Now. I'm guessing you were stranded out on that rock because Aleph warped you away, right? And before that, you were on New World? <sighs> that island's like a fly trap. Folks slip through the cracks and end up there. Mighty unlucky of you, sugar. But as for the business with our triangle-headed friend, it ain't your fault you got caught up in our old mess. So I'll give you a ride, just this once. Follow me. Thank God for Miss Amber. What would we do without her? We'd be stuck on a thousand-year-old dead world. This mirror will take you where you need to go. Where that is, however, well, that just ain't up to me. Step through it when you're ready. This is so much to wrap my head around. Holy moly. The story of this game is unreal. On the surface, super fun creature cut catching and collecting game. Look a little deeper, multiversal story. I like it. Uh, I guess we'll see where the mirror's okay. gonna take us. It was mighty fine meeting you. Oh, do me a favor. Let's not tell our friend Al about me helping you out, shall we? Okay, my lips are sealed, I guess. <sighs> <sighs> For a moment, I wasn't sure if I'd be seeing you again. Okay, so if I'm understanding this right, <laughs> I love how we immediately came into the cafe for a group meeting. We need to debrief. Kaylee's here. The whole crew's here. The Strangle Man, Aleph, is an old archangel who has been stuck on New World like the rest of us. I, I think so, yes. Uh... And you were saved by a stranger after the Triangle Bloke sent you to another world. Something he can do to others, but not himself. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I mean, that just about sums it up, as much as I understood, anyway. We still don't know what Aleph is up to, though. We only know that he's interested in the other Archangels. Oh. I guess my question is, what do you want to do about this guy? He's clearly up to something, but all this stuff might be a bit above our pay grade. I mean, yeah, honestly, the fact that he could just warp me away to another universe with a snap of his fingers, I think we need to avoid him if we can. <laughs> <laughs> I like this plan. Wow, what a start to our day. That was crazy. There's a lot going on in this universe that is a lot bigger than us. At this point, I've got a lot of questions and not a lot of answers. Luckily, we met Mrs. Amber and she managed to bring us back to New World. So, what are we gonna do today? I feel like anything we're gonna do today now pales in comparison to what just happened. What I wanted to do today was do this quest right here, Tiny Dominoff. You probably won't believe me, but I saw a tiny little Dominoff in the clearing in the center of Cherry Meadow. It wasn't just a baby, it was small enough to fit in my hand. How do you think it got like that? Something strange is going on over there. Well, strange is the name of the game today, I think. We started off with a fairly strange encounter, so let's continue with the strangeness. We'll head over to Cherry Meadows and see if we can find this tiny Dominoff that we heard a rumor about. 
Okay, I made it to the area marked on my map, which is actually the campfire we had already uncovered in this area. The question is, where's the tiny Dominoth? I see this little stick guy. I see a bunch of these little stick guys, actually. Also got a lever, which can open a shortcut. Love to see it. But I don't see anything that's particularly tiny. You guys seen anything? Ah. The perfect human being is all human beings put together. It is a collective. It is all of us together that make perfection. Yeah. I exhort you also to take part in the great combat, which is the combat of life and greater than every other earthly conflict. So many philosophers have been transported to New World. We've got Socrates and Plato here. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, actually. All right. It's not the first, uh, first pair of philosophers that we've run into. Enemy Gallagher and Southpaw's hearts act as one. Oh, no way! They're gonna fuse? Whoa, Gallopaw. I don't like it. It's giving cockroach with its little, little arms. It's actually kind of freaking me out. I, I I don't love it. But hey, beggars can be choosers. It'll just make it easier for us to channel our attacks into defeating this thing because it is unholy and I would like it to die. Here comes the music. God, this music is so good! Down goes Gallopaw. And down go the Philosophers. Victory is ours! Got 37 pieces of metal for our hard earned victory. Thank you. I thought that I could beat you. Now I am truly wise, because now I know that I know nothing. We are philosophers, Socrates, not fighters. Hardly any human being is capable of pursuing two professions or two arts rightly. Fair enough. Glad I could help you guys come to that conclusion, I guess? Interesting. Regardless, still no sign of a teeny tiny monster. Whoa. But there is sign of a puzzle. Sign me up. I also see a rock we can smash right here. There we go. Now, what do I do with you? I guess I need to turn you all to one color. Voila! A treasure chest! But this monster wants to ruin it before we can open it. Alright, Twirly Gig, if you're that desperate for a battle, I'll give you one. Twirly Gig came here literally looking for a fight. All I'm looking for is treasure, Twirly Gig. Leave me alone! Ow! Rapid Flame and Zoomies. Oh! Missed! Really? Okay, I think he should still die from his burn, though. Yep. Nice. Battle was won. Oh, we were both so close to level 41. Now, what do we got in this treasure chest? Smack and a toaster tape. Cool. Alright, we're up in the area we were before. Felix says, I don't think we could activate this switch by stepping on it ourselves. Let's have a look around. Ooh, we've got a fused monster right there. Can also talk to this guy with the mustache. Are you here to research the pint-sized Dominoth rumor too? Oh, I am actually. Do you have details? The gossip points to this location, but so far I've only seen regular-sized Dominoth. Maybe it all has something to do with the train that passed by underground a moment ago? Ooh, a train? Wait a minute. Wait a darn minute. Trains usually mean archangels. Okay. Keep an eye out. We can't activate that right now. What if we go up this way? More twirly gigs. They're all really looking for a fight today. Ooh, we got a switch. Which raises this little bridge here. Okay, we're in the right area. I guess now we just need to uncover the subway entrance. That sounds like it's somewhere around here. 
What is this blue thing? This looks promising. Oh, what if we go and put this on the button back by the guy with the mustache? That looks like it might fit. Excuse me, Twirly Gigs, I have no time to murder you today. Apparently, you won't take no for an answer. All right, let's get this done, shall we? <laughs> let's do it. Early gig down. Got us both to level 41, so honestly, the battle was worth our time after all. We'll continue on our way with this blue thing. I think this is gonna go on this button. Let's see. Yeah! Aha! There really was a subway station here. Interesting. Cherry Cross Station. Looks like it was nice at some point. Wait a minute. Um, why is that door so tiny? <laughs> Welcome, I've taken the liberty of opening platform A for you for travel. I mean, I appreciate that, but uh, why is platform B so small? Weird. Okay, we can go in here, which leads us down an elevator. Whoa! Whoa! It's like we're in the Tower of Terror here! Ouch! Flat on my face, luckily we had a few leaves to break our fall. Where are we now? I don't know, Felix. That needs a key, and that's a huge rock. What is this? To my esteemed guests, please enjoy this food I've prepared for you. I'll be arriving to greet you shortly, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> From Alice. Eat the cake labeled Eat Me? I mean, as much as I want to say no, it's cake. We can't say no to cake, right? No matter how suspicious it is. <gasps> Whoa! Is this gonna be an Alice in Wonderland type story? We're gonna get big and small? Drink from the bottle labeled Drink Me? Oh, is so we can get itty bitty or really big? Oh my god. Okay, so I guess this is where the story of the tiny Dominoth came from. So if I get really big, oh, move that rock, and then we get really small. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Cool. I guess now we'll get big again. I said not to go anywhere. Honestly, where are your manners? You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. The Hatter won't appreciate his tea party being interrupted, so stay put, I say, from Alice. I mean, Alice clearly expected us to escape if she, uh put this note here for us. This is beyond cool. Wow, the Alice in Wonderland story. Guess we'll get rid of this monster first. You've disturbed a monster's tea party. Oh, and they look mad about it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just, you know, trying to get out of here. You have to understand. I love tea, but not when I'm forced to drink it. We are getting low on HP, unfortunately. But that's about all we can do for right now. Let's see if we can take down these monsters before we die. One down, the other two aren't looking too good. Felix hanging on by the skin of his teeth. Oh my goodness, okay. We can do this. Zoomies. Goodbye, Thwackalope. Spit. Goodbye, Musketeer. Whew. It was a close call there. 
Okay, we're gonna need to heal before we go any further. Luckily we've got some rewinds. Now... Looks like we need to climb up there. But as you can see, there's a giant box, so presumably we need to move that first. Let's have another slice of the mega cake. Eat me! <laughs> now... Aha, yes, we can get rid of that box. And I guess now we need to get really small and climb up the ramp. You'll see there's a lot of monsters that are waiting in our way. Oh, wait a minute, though. How are we going to get on the counter? We probably need to put that crate in the proper spot. It's gonna take some trial and error. Okay, so what if I put the crate here? And then, can I stand on the crate and drink the potion at the same time? That would be ideal. Okay, nope. Nope. If I can put the crate in the perfect spot, I think I can do it. Oh, okay. Hang on. What if I just stand on the table, then I jump on the crate? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now we go up the ramps. I see treasure up on that one. It's kind of hard to navigate. Alright, let's get rid of the Dominoth and the Wingling first. I'm gonna actually try to record the Wingling, because we have not done that yet. And we can use our super conductive tape as it is an electric type. Recording. Hundred percent chance. Welcome to my tape collection, Wing Gloom. The light bulbs in a wing gloom's head channel an electric current that runs through the creature's entire body. The lights generated by them are reflected out its eyes, allowing them perfect vision at night. It's pretty cool. Wing gloom was put into storage. All right, now we just got to take them both down. Go in flame and charge. Oof. I almost ended up taking down Dominoff one hit. Type advantages are very powerful things, especially when you've got the level advantage on top of that. Alright, let's finish this off. Oh, Wingloom's gonna survive with one HP in a dream. It's okay, we'll get him next round. Down he goes. Victory is ours, and our fusion meter is fully charged up now, just in case we do need to team up for any future battles. Get this treasure chest. We got splinter, wood, and pulp. Now we're gonna run away before that guy wants to fight me because we gotta fight this guy instead. Hello, Wing Gloom. Fancy seeing you here again. You guys must really like tea, huh? Because y'all y'all are all here for the uh for the tea party. Can't catch me. I'm Cat Five. Bye bye. Luckily, coming into here, as you can see, we do apparently have quite a level advantage. We're in our level 40s, and these are all late 20s. Presumably we gotta hit this little switch right here. Literally the tiniest switch you ever did see. And now we can go through this hole. Whoa! Where are we now? What is this? I'm saving this for later. It's to be a surprise for you. A courteous guest will leave it alone. Use your head. Don't lose it. <laughs> 
Uh, I would like to open the chest, even though it's giant. Felix, I may need your help here. What do we have inside? Oh, Queenix wants my head! Whoa! This really is the tale of Alice in Wonderland. This is pretty cool, actually. You know, the queen wants my head. That's classic Alice in Wonderland. And she's got a little guard here, Man of Spear. Who didn't do a very good job at guarding, because he's down on the first turn. Okay. Now for Queen X. When lightning strikes sand, it creates fulgurites, natural glass. Earth-type targets of lightning-type attacks change type to become glass. Huh. Interesting. Okay. The more you know. Oh my god, she rolled a 19. And that hit me good. Almost down, though. One more hit. One more hit will do it. There we go. Woohoo! We get to keep our heads! We also get 452 experience points and 9 pieces of metal. We got the white rabbit key inside that chest. Curiouser and curiouser, it says. White rabbit key, okay. Presumably with that, we can get somewhere. Now, unfortunately, I am out of rewind, so we'll, while we'll keep Cat 5 in the party, we're gonna have to swap out Velocity Rifle, and we'll put in uh, Ramphasm. Okay, let's go see where this key leads, I guess. Pretty sure the key was, there was a keyhole in the very first room. Let's maybe get back to regular size first. Or did we need to be small to get through this hole? Yeah, okay. Ah, yes, there's a keyhole right there. All right. Just gotta get big again, eat some cake, open this, and then we got the teeniest, tiniest switch you ever did see, which presumably I also have to be teeny and tiny to hit it. Whoa! This place gets crazier and crazier. Not only are we small, we're also upside down. All right, we're back in the room where we first came through, and now that we're still small, we can head on to platform B. Once again, it's that really bad feeling in the air. I'm kind of used to it at this point, at least. I mean, how, how could this day ever get any weirder? It started off with us being teleported to another dimension. Uh, then we ate magical cake and drank magical tea. Now we're going to fight an archangel. It's just, at this point, nothing could surprise me today. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Whoa! I'm never gonna get used to the feeling of seeing an Archangel. Well, yeah, it's hard to get used to it when every single one looks so different as well. You ignored my instructions to stay put. Don't you respect me? Don't you realize just how important I am? Hmm. Are we supposed to know who you are? Such rudeness towards a member of royalty, no less. If you refuse to use your heads, I'll just have to take them from your shoulders. Archangel Alice, Wonderland's exiled queen. Whoa. Yep, as usual, this is pretty freaking cool. Let's start off with a fusion. We get Ram 5. Oh, that's that's actually a really cool monster. Ram 5. All right. Let's go Galactic Beatdown. Got 100 damage to start us off. Eat me. Whoa. Inflated characters have increased attack and defense stats, but significantly reduced evasion. Alright. So you're big, so what? That's fine. Size doesn't matter, because I'm still hitting crits. Guzzle fuel? Alice is using moves I've never even heard of before. She's been deflated. Deflated characters have significantly increased evasion, but reduced attack and defense stats. Okay. Well, luckily, I actually have this move Galactic Beatdown, which cannot be evaded. So, doesn't matter if your evasion's high, if I can use Galactic Beatdown. She's calling for help now. He's got a little buddy. 
Is this- this is gonna be her thing. She's just gonna get big and then small and then big and then small. That's not so bad. So I'm not even gonna worry about her minion. I'm just gonna focus on Alice. She's already less than 50% HP. Although she's using something called High and Mighty now. Ooh! The ultimate body slam! Oh my goodness. Ouch. Luckily again, we have Galactic Beatdown for when she gets tiny. There's no avoiding that. You're getting a Galactic Beatdown no matter your size. The Galactic Beatdown. It's universal. <laughs> it does not discriminate. Oh no. Oh no, we've got a lot of status effects going on right now, though. We've been leeched, we've been put to sleep. We're not gonna be able to do anything till we wake up. Ooh. Apparently I have, uh, sleep moves, but their accuracy is 1%. Sleep talk, sleep walk, and summon Tolpa all have a 1% chance. So I'm gonna assume we're not gonna hit this. Yep, no shocker there. We're just gonna have to wait till we wake up unless we have the best luck in the entire world. If I'm hitting on a 1% chance to hit, I'm gonna go uh, buy a lottery ticket after this because clearly my luck would be through the roof. One more turn and we should wake up. Alright. I'm back to full strength now, Alice. You ready for this? Ow! Alright, we're knocked out of fusion, but that's okay because Alice is pretty low on HP. Let's bring in some other monsters. Let's bring in Southpaw and Fungo. The issue is we don't have our Galactic Beatdown anymore, which is the automatic chance to hit. So when she's small, it might actually be hard to hit her. We'll see. Ah, we're still able to. One out of two is not bad. Now she's nice and inflated, so that gives us a big target. There with the old one, two, fun go. Mountain smash. Let's see if we can hit her. Oh yeah, we're gonna hitting crits on her and everything. You're not small enough, Alice, that you're uh, minuscule, so we can't even see you. In fact, when you shrink, you're just about the same size as we are, so... Alright, this should finish it as long as we can hit these moves. We'll hit her with two copper chops. Hiya! Down goes the Archangel! Victory is ours! Woohoo! That's awesome! Your stamina increased by 9%. You can now glide for six seconds. And we should get an extra line for our song. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. To the west, your wings must fly to the place only I have known. For that is where my chambers lie, halls now empty and alone. Venture there and head southbound, where your wayward paths shall meet. Where cherry blossoms fall to the ground, where grass is pale beneath your feet. A lone dead tree is in this land. Beneath its branches you must be. Okay, that's the new line. Again, zoning in, zeroing in on where we need to go. Unfortunately, look who else is here. You really have no respect, do you? How infuriating. It's Al who we now know is uh, not a friend. I never thought he was, but I think it was confirmed when he sent me to a long dead world. Miss Alice, pleasure to meet you. I need someone with your people skills. You don't quit, do you? If 
Thankfully, he didn't stick around. Uh, do you think that Archangel really wanted our heads, or do you think it was a turn of phrase? Actually, don't answer that. I don't want to know. I don't think it matters oh. either way, because the Archangel's been defeated, and we got out of there before Al did anything sus again. So, Aleph appearing again to help bail out the Archangel we fought. What is he gathering them for? Is he trying to find a way to leave New World? Anyway, you said you had another new lead you're looking into. What's the lead? A lone dead tree is in this land. Beneath its branches, you must be. It's cryptic, but it seems to have some specific details, like it's describing a very specific place. Are you looking for that place? Yeah, I am looking for that place, obviously. We're trying to get out of here, remember Felix? Do you think that different worlds can have different logics? In what way? Like, okay, the cassette tapes that record monsters, how do you think that works exactly? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you and me both. As far as I can tell, these cassette players are just regular old-fashioned cassette players. My old man used to have one that looked similar. From what I've been told, the rangers found a bunch of them in the abandoned mall a few years back, and that's where the island's supply comes from. That's what I've heard as well. So I guess that's why I ask if you think a world can have its own logic. Maybe mundane items from our worlds can have different rules than this one. <laughs> what a concept! I'm definitely using that in my story. You're writing a new story. It's no big deal right now, just some ideas I'm playing around with. If it becomes something more substantial, I'll let you know. Maybe we should get back to adventuring. I'll, it'll give me some more ideas, that's for sure. I mean, the fact that we're in a whole other world? Sure. I'll agree with your theory that this world has different logic than our own. Ooh, we get to remaster Velocirifle! Okay, I'm excited. Velocirifle is one of my favorite monsters so far in terms of design, so I'm excited to see what he's gonna evolve into. Let's do this! Oh, whoa! Your Velocirifle tape became Artillerex! He lost his arms, but he gained a mean mug. The body of the Artillerex contains a pit of molten metal, which can form into shrapnel and shoot out in blasts from the turret on its belly. Its ballistic capabilities and towering stature make it a truly fearsome foe to stand against. Yeah, I would be scared if uh, I ran into an Artillerex in a dark alley. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, guys, what a crazy day. We started off with an intergalactic journey and ended with defeating another Archangel. It's never a dull moment here in Cassette Beasts, and I'm genuinely having so much fun with this game. I want to thank you all for coming along on this journey with me. It means so much that you're watching these videos, leaving your comments, your likes, and if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you do so. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys back here soon for another episode of Cassette Beasts.